In this video, you will be learning different flow control and looping statements in system log. So these are the list of flow control and looping statements. They are if, if else, if else if, if else if else, and case, while, do while, for, for each, forever, and repeat statements. So these are pretty much simple to understand and the syntax is also very similar to those in C. But we will quickly go through them just to understand uh, how to write these statements in procedural blocks. Again, remember that these should be only used in any of these procedural uh, assignment blocks that you had learned in the previous video, either in, in an always, initial, final, task or function. First is different type of if statements. So you can use a simple if statement, uh, like if within the bracket condition, then within a begin and end keyword the list of statement when the condition is true and say none of these are present if you're just using in a simple if else condition so only this first block and the last block will be present then uh, so if the condition is true this will be evaluated if it is false this will be evaluated and if you are using an if if else statements so the, it will be looking something similar to this if condition one is true this block will be evaluated and uh, else if condition 2 is true then this block will be evaluated and so on so this is a syntax end else if uh, then the next condition begin followed by the set of statements and case statement is somewhat similar to a switch statement in C so this is a syntax to use the case statements uh, case within the bracket the statement or the expression so the expression will be evaluated here and according to the value of the expression any of these blocks below will be evaluated say so if the value of the expression is value 1 value 0 then but this block will be evaluated so this is how you should give the values uh, the value followed by a colon symbol then within a begin and end block uh, the list of statement that need to be executed along with this value and same way for so the block for value 1, value 2, etc. And finally, optionally, optionally, you can list a default block as well. So if none of these values are matching against the, the expression evaluation evaluated value, then the default statement will be evaluated. So default within colon within beginning the list of statements. So this is similar to the switch statement in C, C programming language. These are the looping statements uh, available in system log. Those are while and for and repeat. These are again similar to those in C. First, let's see the while statement. So this is the syntax for a while statement. While within the bracket condition and within begin and the list of statement. So this while block will be evaluated as long as this condition is true. On the other hand, and a do while will be uh, done in the opposite way. So this is the syntax to use do while do within begin end then after the end statement give the, the while keyword and uh, followed by the condition followed by a semicolon and in case of a do while it, whatever be the value of this condition this set, set of statements will be first evaluated then only the condition will be checked and then as long as the condition is true the set of statements will be repeatedly evaluated so uh, in case of a do while this uh, statement blocks is guaranteed to be executed at least once. Here is a syntax for a for statement, for within bracket, uh, the initialization, the condition and the incremental and uh, after the end of bracket within the beginning the list of statements. So this is again similar to the usage in C. Also uh, note that you can in, uh, in locally declare the variable here within the block, uh, within the for block. Uh, bracket so that these variables this looping variable will be uh, local to this block uh, and you can re reuse this variable anywhere else in the program safely and for each is a system log specific looping condition again it's very similar to uh, for statement and typically this is used along with an array so for each will automatically take care of every index in an array so uh, this is the syntax to use it for each the array name begin and then the list of statement so for, for every element of this array this um, for each will be evaluated and again repeat statement is similar to a for statement so you can say repeat 
the number of times there, um, there should be an expression or a number and within a begin end block you will give the list of statements so these statements will be repeated that many times as that you have given here thus these are the looping statements available in system editor finally before winding up i just wanted to give an introduction to named begin end sometimes you will see a named block associated with some beginnings in in a test bench or mostly in design so just wanted to understand that you can possibly you can um, name a begin end block a, a block is always written within a begin and end keyword so you can name the block if you want so this is how you name the block so after the begin keyword give a colon and name, give the name of that block so this block will be this block is given the name like init block one uh, so initial begin block is given the name init block one and when this is ended this end keyword is used the same name is given init block one so this is a named initial begin block with name init block one in the same way here i have named as if condition begin and block as well like say uh, after the begin give the colon give the name of that block in the next uh, i have used another always begin and block without any name again finally i have listed another always in with a with a different uh, name so see how learned that you can name the begin and block if you wanted to do and sometimes you will see this kind of code especially when there is a forking uh, statements in uh, test bench programming